Greetings, beloveds. There is indeed a gathering of souls that is happening now. As each of you are raising your frequencies, as each of you are bringing and allowing more light to come through, as you are releasing and relinquishing the aspect of ego mind that states that you are separate, you will be finding that there you'll be finding that there is a cohesion that is happening as more and more of you are beginning to gather like-minded souls. You will begin to see less of the separation between you, rather what you will become privy to, what you become present to is how much you are alike. The places where you meet one another, the places where you have similarities rather than differences. And as you look for this, you will find that where there are differences, beloveds, this is the work for you to do, for each of you to do, to begin to say, this is a difference that I see in another. This is an aspect of self that I am not able to accept. This is an aspect of self that I reject. I could never be like this person. I would never be like this person. They are teaching me how I don't want to be in the world. We would recommend, beloveds, that you pause for a moment and you look a little more deeply for each beloved being that comes to you now, you are gaining the consciousness that they are indeed an aspect of you, an aspect of you that you have sworn off, an aspect of you that you have wanted to reject. When you come upon one who is sick, do you feel inclined to lean in and to help them? Or do you want to stave and push away their illness and say, thank goodness I do not have that? Can you have compassion for the aspect of their mind that has created this illusion, which is ultimately an aspect of your own, and say, let me love back to health. Let me love back to wellness, the aspect of me that looks out upon this world and sees what is broken and what is damaged and what needs to be fixed, rather than looking at it through the eyes of innocence and the eyes of love. The healing that was accomplished by me and those whom I taught is known to each of you. For you did indeed walk with me. You do indeed know me. And I live and breathe inside of you as we are indeed one. So if you want to understand, and if you want to remember, and if you want to apply this methodology of healing, you must look within your own mind and see where the aspect of what looks like if it is outside of you exists within. And then to that, you must apply love and innocence and forgiveness. Forgiveness for having believed that it was separate from you. Forgiveness for having believed that it was separate than you. That there was another out there and that they were not somehow connected to you. Forgiveness for the places where you have believed you needed to be punished. Forgiveness for the ways in which you have cut another off in their speech. You have been righteous in your judgment. You have looked upon them with the opposite of innocence. You have been the judge and the jury and sometimes the executioner. Whether you nailed people to a cross or you whipped them or you beat them or you imprisoned them there are many who are imprisoned within your heart, beloveds, for you have not been willing to offer your forgiveness. So let today be a day where you can look upon each circumstance, each nuance of existence and say, who am I in this person? Who is this person within me? They are showing up as a messenger of God, a voice of God. They are here to show me an unhealed aspect of my mind. How can I apply love to this circumstance? How can I breathe in the breath of God? And as I know that I am, I know that they are too. God. How can I allow myself to see the light in a being? How can I let my heart be moved to tears of love by their very presence? How can I, I allow myself to regale 
in their beauty and their magnificence. For they are light of my light and heart of my heart. How can I allow myself to fall madly in love with each and every moment of existence and with each and every being comes before me? And I ask you, beloveds, to lean in. Lean into one another. Lean into your own love, into your own light. And where you wish to find fault and where you wish to find blame and where you wish to judge, look within and say, I apologize. I forgive. I forgive myself for that thought. And heal the mind, beloved, that looks for the derision. For it is in the mind that the body then will follow. Bring your heart to all things. Be love in all circumstances. Who can you make friends with today that has been a bitter and mortal enemy? What aspect of yourself do you continue to punish yourself for? What habits and what patterns have you not been able to forgive? Where do you still carry shame? Where do you still carry guilt? And let that be washed clean, beloveds in the light of love. Apply more love. And then you will come to see that love is truly all that there is. Know that our blessings go with you always. The more that your heart opens to love and to the truth, the more information will come we are so ready to express to you our love and the truth of you. Open your hearts to us, beloveds. Open your hearts to yourselves and open your hearts to one another. And there you will find me waiting and welcoming you. I love you. And I will speak with you again.